Political analysis on the South China Sea. We're joined now by Jia Su Dong at the China Institute of International Studies. Professor Jia, what message do you think that Beijing is trying to send by putting its patrol vessels into the South China Sea for three days now? It's patrolling the area. And can we make any linkage to the political talks between Manila and Tokyo at this time? Well, I don't think so. But uh, uh, these uh, ships are sent to the South China Sea for just a regular uh, patrol. So these are just our regular operations uh, as uh, required by Chinese law and regulation. So I think that uh, they are there to protect China's uh, legitimate uh, uh, marine uh, environment uh, and rights, maritime rights. And uh, we know that in the uh, past few years, uh, some countries, especially uh, Vietnam and the Philippines, are nibbling at China's uh, sovereignty and maritime rights in the South China Sea. And also, uh, there are some uh, activities that endanger the marine environment there. And uh, so these ships are just there to uh, uh, enforce China's law and regulations concerning the South China Sea, and certainly they are, they are also to uh, defend China's uh, sovereignty and maritime rights, to check where, uh, whether there are uh, uh, more encroaching uh, activities uh, there in South Sea that, so that they can take action against these uh, violations of China's sovereignty and maritime rights in South China Sea. Let's shift our focus over to Tokyo for a moment because that's where the Philippine and Japanese foreign ministers are meeting right now. No surprise if the South China Sea figure is high on their agenda. Both countries have territorial disputes with Beijing. But what do you think the Philippines is ultimately trying to achieve in these three days? What kind of position are they trying to establish? Or are they merely looking for regional support? Well, uh, certainly the Philippines would like to seek international support for its... Uh position concerning the South China Sea so that uh, it may uh, feel that it will become more confident in uh, standing uh, uh, against China in any dispute in the South China Sea. But I, even though the immediate attention is on uh, any discussion about the South China Sea issue, I don't believe this topic will figure very prominently during the talks. Of course, they will, uh, may cover this uh, topic in their discussions, but in a, a broader framework of uh, discussion of uh, maritime security, because uh, there actually there are many more things to, uh, to be discussed between the two sides. Uh, for example, economic cooperation and uh, Japan's assistance uh, with the Philippines in its dealing with uh, uh, the Minando uh, issue, uh, because uh, Japan has played a uh, very active role in trying to help the Filipino government and uh, the uh, moral Islamic liberation front in uh, uh, Mindanao uh, Island. So they have more to discuss, but I don't think that the Japan will to take, an, take an open uh, side with the Philippines in the uh, on the South China Sea issue, because that's detrimental to uh, both uh, the re uh, Japan's relationship to, with China, also the uh, solution to the South China Sea issue.